charge correction of spectra is a fairly straightforward process, especially if you're using uh, carbon 1s as adventitious carbon to do so. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the file that we've made previously uh, for our generic adventitious carbon. Have the two windows open. And for this spectrum that hasn't been charged corrected, we're going to click on the carbon, hit control, click on the carbon for the generic uh, spectrum that we've set up, right click, which brings up the browser operations. We're going to click on regions, components, and annotation, and hit OK. So now we've propagated what we have here in this spectrum to the other spectrum and you can see it's already a fairly good fit. There's a bit of, bit of change that's gone on in here, so we can actually adjust that. If we go into our quantification parameters, uh, components, if we say move down the asset functionality to something like 3.7, we'll see how that fits. That fits a lot better, so that's a pretty reasonable fit. The main thing for this is to get the binding energy of the aliphatic peak so that we can do cor uh, charge correction. So then to charge correct, we'll select all three spectra that we want charge corrected, go under Options, under Options, Processing, Calibration, scroll down to our carbon peak here so we can get the number from it. It's 281.24 and the true value that we're going to set it to for most things now is 284.8 uh, for organic compounds or polymers, I still like to use 285. As long as you report what value you're using in your publication or your or thesis, um, then that'll be okay, whichever one you choose. They're both acceptable. Uh, we're going to adjust regions, components, and we're going to apply to selection. So that should get all these. I'm going to make sure this is all on. And we're going to hit apply. And you can see now that the binding energy has shifted over. Our carbon peak main peak is at 284.8, and it's also shifted over for the other spectra. So the oxygen spectra has been shifted over, and here the chromium spectrum has been shifted over. And that's it.